Hey, Namaskar everybody, how are you? Hopefully everybody's been having an awesome Happy New Year. I hope so far the beginning of 2078 have been fantastic. Did I say 2078? That would be Nepal. So, if any of my Nepalese friends uh, are watching Happy New Year, of course that would have been, I think, back in September is when that would happen. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, they are in the year 2078 because they go by a different calendar. They go by the solar and the lunar calendar and not just the solar cal calendar like most of the other countries do. So uh, for us here, I hope everybody's enjoying their 2022 so far. Uh, well, unless you're from Ethiopia, then you would be in the year 2014. But whatever year you're celebrating, I hope you're having a happy new year. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. And if you're already a subscriber, I definitely appreciate it. And I'm glad to see you back. And I'm, I love seeing the comments on the videos and I like the additional information that everyone puts in the videos. That's awesome, I appreciate it. So welcome back and it's a cold, it's a cold day out today, a lot colder than yesterday. Um, but we are back in the Green Cathedral. Yes, that's right, Mill Creek Park in Youngstown, Ohio. Um, I wasn't gonna make this my first video of the year. I wanted to do something totally different, but I was still kind of doing some research on that one. Um, so, what I'm gonna do today, well, as you can tell, let, let's just start this. This is my starting point of what we're gonna do today. And this is the old covered bridge. And let me go up here and I show you what we're by. Does that look familiar over there? Well, it should, because that's Lanterman Mill. Um, and I kinda wanna show you now you've seen this in my other videos before the covered bridge now this this obviously isn't the original bridge that was here now there were bridges back here there was quite a few different bridges in this area but none succeeded uh until this one which was built in 1989 um and that's my year of graduation springfield local high school go tigers um but what we're going to do today is we're gonna walk up in that area that's that's the upper gorge um and if you've seen my videos i've done the east gorge trail the west gorge trail this is going to be the upper gorge and it's not just going to be one trail okay there's going to be we're gonna go on a couple different trails because there's no real actual loop uh, for this gorge. There, I, there could be if you wanted, there could be if you wanted, but that would be a, a pretty long hike. And uh, part of it, you would, you would leave the like dirt trail and you would go like on the, on the road and you would actually go almost in the Boardman uh, Ohio to come back around so I'm just gonna do a video well me and you are gonna do this video do this hike of the upper gorge trail so uh, let's get started and uh, see what we can find huh yeah they're still decorated still decorated for Christmas with the garland Christmas come and gone but yeah this was the old this is the old covered bridge and like I said this isn't the original that, that's a nice view right there right this isn't the original again there was there was many covered bridges uh, in this area when the mill was actually running for a business um, and again none succeeded until this one was built and this one was built more for uh, more for 
I guess tourism, you know, because the mill does still operate, but more on a, a tourism basis. And this trail is, it's pretty, it's pretty cool actually. It's a pretty cool trail. I'll show you some highlights of it. Um, and I, I wish it was warm because when it's, when it's summertime and spring, it's just like really, really lush. So if you watch the video today and you think it looks pretty and you think it, it, it looks nice, you should check this out when everything's in bloom. It's awesome. Now see this road right here. Um, when we get up here a ways, it, like I was saying, you could leave like the dirt path and take another path. That's kind of like the road that you would be taking. But yeah, we're just gonna do a couple different trails and we're just going to stick to the upper gorge area. Yeah, I was uh I was actually here yesterday. Um and it was it was warm out. Actually, this this area that this is so cool down here. Now, again, if you were to come here in the summertime, or in the springtime, you wouldn't get this water flow like that unless it unless it rained real hard. But being that it, it's been raining, it's winter time, it's what this is this is what you get. It's awesome. Look at that. Yeah, but I was here yesterday. I went hiking with my daughter, didn't do a video or anything like that, but we went walking and it was filled with fog it's awesome and i'll post i'll post some pictures like i did in my last video um at the end of this video i'll post some of the pictures and if you want to check out some of my pictures because i do photography on the side it's everything clicks photography and clicks is spelled k-l-i-x um i'm gonna try to drop a link uh in the in the description and we're actually going to cross this bridge in a little bit. This is the saddle bridge. I like that. I like that. Now when this is foggy, well, you know what? We'll talk about this bridge when we come back up. When we come back up. It's actually kind of nice here today. Uh, yesterday, for some reason, this was, this was pretty slippery. But, but it was rain, like it was actually raining. Today it's just cold and wet. And you'll see, I show you the spot where I took a picture of that bridge that I'm gonna post. I took it from down there and uh, the fog was rolling down here. It looked, it looked awesome, it looked awesome. sandstone wall and and always I always got to point out whenever we come to something sandstone all these ridges that you see on all any of the sandstone all these marks uh, here here's some more all of them these were hand cut people actually chiseled these away in the area in the area so it's it's just history everywhere you look looking at now these probably aren't old old names or old almost slipped there they probably weren't old but I still like looking at at the names and stuff that people carve it's 
especially on rocks. Tell me that wouldn't be cool to be kayaking down right now. Oh man, that'd be awesome, right? Right. And this trail isn't very long, like where I started, you would park at the, the Lanterman Mill parking lot um, and then you would walk down to the mill. You can start at the bridge and you can walk this trail and I'm going to show you where we'll end up. Uh, there's a few spots actually. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, tell you the pinpoints of where you could park and walk, but where we started that's one area that you could park and you can walk a, you can walk a bunch of different trails but as far as the upper gorge I, I, I'm gonna show you so we know we know one of where we can start yeah go to the end well don't go to the end of the video watch the video and then watch the I'll post maybe I don't know four or five different pictures that I that I took yesterday um, Totally different scene when there's fog rolling through the gorge. But that's that's awesome nonetheless. I mean, look at that. That is awesome. That is totally awesome. Totally awesome. Water's really, really moving today. It's been raining. It's been raining for the past few days, so it's pretty high. But look at that. It's still green though. I mean, it's January and I'm walking a trail and I, I do have my hoodie, but I'm not wearing it right now. You know, but uh, yeah, it, it's cold. It's, it's, it's still cold. It's still cold out. Yeah, there's lichen. I know you're sick of me. You're sick of hearing me mention about lichen, but I, I love uh, I love when lichen's on the tree, and lichen is is all this stuff. This is lichen. There's fungi. Check that out. That's awesome. And of course. A plastic water bottle and we still I'm still I think springtime I'm still gonna get some people together and we're gonna do a uh, a little walk and we're just gonna pick up trash I think I think we should do that All right, okay here we go I think I might even taken a picture of this yesterday You'll have to wait and see. You'll have to wait and see. Man, that water is that water is pretty high. I don't want to go in there. It's uh it's probably cold. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I think I did take a picture of this. Huh. <laughs> oh man, that goes way back in there. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh man. Well, there's my first first fall fall of the day and yes I'm I'm wet me being dumb me being dumb <laughs> stupid okay <laughs> ah boy so when I said it's cold out it's a little colder that looks cool huh Wonder what uh 
wonder what this was. It was probably some kind of drainage, drainage deal. Still looks cool. I just, I can't believe there's still a lot of green and it's January. Ah, boy. I really didn't feel like falling in water uh, today. Ooh, look how cool that is. Look at that. Looks like it's nature's cup right there. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it in there. There's water inside there. Yeah. Looks like a cup. How cool is that? Yeah, see, I, I always mention about the trees all the time, too. Uh, whenever we're taking these hikes through the park. Um... You know, they're just everywhere. All these trees, all these different types of trees. You could just spend hours and hours taking pictures of uh, the different formations of trees. Yeah, I guess I did. I guess I did uh, fall a little bit. Ah, all right, whatever. Well, that's why I tell you, listen, that's why I tell you when you go hiking, and now this ain't this ain't bad we're in mill creek park i'm close to home and stuff like that but try not to go hike hiking by yourself because i mean that was just i was <laughs> in a little drain looking being dumb but say i was down in there somewhere say i was crossing a log or something and i fell in the water i'm by myself you know you can get into some real trouble real quick so if possible always hike with somebody look at that tree up there that's cool yeah just look at the contrast of the green just surrounded by the browns and the reds that is awesome that is cool now that trail over there we're gonna walk that trail but we have to backtrack i was telling you that this isn't a loop trail okay you you could make it out to be one again you would have to cross or you would have to get off you, you know this kind of trail and then you'd be walking on the road um and you'd you'd actually end up i want to say by like shields road and you would have to loop all the way back around it would be a long walk i don't think today would be the day to do that um summertime it might be okay but it's not all in the woods like this. Some more green, some more lichen. So that's why I chose, I'm just gonna stick to the upper gorge. And I show you, show you what this, this has to offer. And they're both, uh, both sides are, are equally fascinating with with like the scene little stone bridge i love stuff like that that is awesome and i bet you that green sign down there probably has something to do with do not enter and water can contain e coli and everything else because remember what i said mill creek park uh used to have a really bad runoff sewer in in excess drain water problem which they still have problems but they've been trying to fix that um 
but yeah you'll sometimes you'll notice smells uh after a big rain and stuff like that but that's pretty much with uh any any body of water if you want to if you really want to delve into like water problems and stuff like that and it's not so much a problem but look up lake erie and look up sewer water um lake erie actually has sewer water that goes into it and it's like pumped back it's it's like a filter kind of system they got really weird look it look it look it looks like we got a waterfall up ahead huh there's actually three waterfalls well three dams there's more waterfalls in a park than three but there's three main dams in the park but that's we're gonna walk up to that dam and that's gonna be our turnaround point boy that water is even that water is even higher than yesterday wow that's crazy that is insane Yeah, here we got a 19, 1955. I can't read that out. I see a number, some kind of number, 260. Yeah, 1955. People have been walking this area. Yeah, I, I see all this damn trash laying all over the place. And you know who you are, man. Pick up after yourself. It's disgusting to look at. Yeah, look at all the lichen. There's some, oh yeah, look, check that out. Oh, that looks, look at the pattern on that. That is awesome. Wow. How cool is that? Yeah, some people just walk right past that. I, I love looking at that. Love looking at that. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what, man? I'm just looking at I'm just looking how the water is today. Wow, that is crazy. Way uh way more powerful than it was yesterday wow okay that's cool we're going to get pretty close to it and that right there that's the do that's the uh newport lake dam oh yeah that's way higher because there you there was a yesterday there was a uh a rock sitting like right right out in there there was a little rock you could see and there was a beaver out on it it looked pretty cool oh man that wow that's really powerful today wow holy smokes look at that look at that that's a cool view Let's keep walking, huh? Now, you go back in history a little bit. There was a lady by the name of Alice Baldwin Lewis. She actually donated 70 acres to Mill Creek Park. Now, Mill Creek Park actually purchased more land from her but the land that she did donate that initial 70 acres she did that with the stipulation that a lake be built on that land 
Um, she liked lakes, she liked flowers, gardens, things like that. Well, uh, they purchased it, and I think that was 1924 when she donated the land. Well, they built this dam, and I believe, I believe the, uh, the company that built that was Porterfield and Finger Contracting Company. If I got that wrong, correct me, but I think that's the name of the contracting company that built that. Here's another set of steps, see? You can take that up and you can get up on the road up there. And you can continue walking. I'll, sh I'll show you here in a minute. But they built the dam and voila, Lake Newport was created. There's the Lake Newport Dam, and there's Lake Newport. And we're gonna go, we're gonna end up over there at the end of the video, we'll be over that way. But this is Lake Newport. It's one of three of the lakes in Mill Creek Park. In all these lakes in Mill Creek Park, they are man-made, okay? Just think back in history this was this was all like i want to say farmland but it was filled it was it was just rolling filled out here it wasn't this this was actually a you know a, a creek it was it, there was different pools and and whatnot through here um but lake newport is the biggest lake in uh Mill Creek Park. And then you have Lake Cohasset, which is the oldest lake in Mill Creek Park. And then you have Lake Glacier, which that is where the infamous Slippery Rock incident happened. Uh, but who could forget the Youngstown Ice Company and the Ice House Dam? These are all, these are all videos of mine. Little hint, hint watch them you'll get some different information and maybe you'll get to add some more to the video as well but yeah here's lake newport right here how awesome is that now i was telling you that this isn't a loop trail it is but is it it, it is but it isn't okay you get tired, here's a little bench you can sit on and uh, look out at the lake. Now, you can keep continuing on this trail. It's going to take you up on, I, I want to say that's Kiawatha Road or something, whatever. That, that goes around the lake. It goes down Lake Newport, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a road in the, in the woods you can kind of see it wrap around and it actually goes way down there that road is actually closed off right now they uh they had it closed all last year as well i think they're repairing it i think they're repairing some foundation and bridge whatnot over there but you can go and walk that it's on the road and you'll actually end up in in boardman by shields road and you would it's just you would continue all across the lake and you would you would eventually end up over there and you can walk back to the point where i started from um but if you just wanted a easy an easy hike uh say you're on your lunch break or or, or whatever you have a, a half hour or whatever you wanted to take a walk you could park by the mill you could do this trail that i just walked uh or you could take the full trail that we're going to walk today uh, choice is yours. Whatever you want to do. There's no rules whatsoever. Awesome view though, right? Awesome view. Man, that's amazing, right? Let's go check this waterfall out again. 
Oh, you know what? You know what's? You know what else? I thought was pretty cool. I like how they have the sign down there. Danger spillway. So this dam, when it was built, I believe it was 20 foot high and 140 foot wide. Well, the spillway is 140 foot wide. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the shadow or not. There's a dark spot right in there. I was there yesterday and that's where a beaver was sitting on a rock. I thought it was a rabbit at first, but uh, we kept looking and looking, it, it was a beaver. How neat is that? So without, without Alice Baldwin Lewis donating her land this might not have ever been and if you want you can actually uh, I should have showed you when I was up there but if, if if we were to go from this point and walk straight across that is the famous daffodil meadow that's in Mill Creek Park which is kind of cool because we know that Alice liked lakes and she liked gardens. So that that's kind of almost like a tribute to her as well. And if you wanted to see the Alice Baldwin Memorial Rock, now that's not Alec Baldwin, Alice Baldwin. You would go to the Newport Wetlands parking lot and there is a a, a, a memorial rock that's there and it pretty much reads that she donated this land to Mill Creek Park and it's in remembrance of her father and her revolutionary era war family um, which would have been her great great Aunt Mary Nelson so that's how this all became so what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack the same way we came and we are going to walk across Saddle Bridge and we're gonna do the other side. So let's go and uh, get back to that bridge. So what year do you think you would rather be in right now? Do you think you would rather be in 2078, 2022, or you would you like to go back to 2014? I kind of would like to go check out 2078 myself. Yeah, it's the it's the Vikram Sam, Vikram Sambat calendar that they go by in Nepal. I believe that's the pronunciation. Um, that's cool. Um, but yeah, again, they go, they go through uh, the lunar and the solar. So I, I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, talk about Back to the Future, right? <laughs> Oh man, I was hoping, I was hoping maybe we see Doc and Marty along on this adventure, but who knows? We still got, we still got a little bit to go, huh? Sweet. Yeah, we're going to get to that other side. But I tell you what, I'm going to uh, I'm going to keep walking, and uh, 
I'm gonna stop and probably check a few things out or whatever. But uh, when I get back up to the saddle bridge, I'll talk to you then. All right, made it back up. Well, we're, we're close to our crossing point to get to the other side. Yeah, we're gonna go right down on that path over there. Uh, so we'll be able to get that, see that little cave over there and everything. Must be getting a little colder, I see snowflakes. Nice view though, it's, it's always a nice view no matter, no matter what time of uh, year season it is. But yeah, you know how I told you that uh, you could make a loop out of that trail? Uh, you could actually even ride your bike, not like not on this trail, but uh, if you look at the maps, of Mill Creek Park, you'll see the Newport Bike and Hike Trail. And that's that's actually a trail that goes around Lake Newport. So if you didn't like to hike or walk, you can ride your bike. Yeah, see, I don't know, can anybody see the little snowflake snowflakes falling? Yeah. All right, we still got another side to do. That's all right, we'll do it, we'll do it. I just, I really dig that stone wall. I might have to put up my hoodie. Yeah, I think so. All right, saddle bridge. Yeah, there's, there's the road. And you can follow that and it goes uh that's the one that goes around lake newport yeah check this out this bridge <laughs> this bridge reminds me of the scene in jurassic park where they're in a pterodactyl cage and it really really looks that way when the fog's coming through it's awesome <laughs> it's really crazy Check it out. It's that side. Oh boy. We got the we got the love locks going on. Secret lover. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's see who's this. Well, there's three of them. I think that's Brandon, Ashley, and Alyssa. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if everybody does that. I don't know like other countries and stuff like that. But people, uh, people put their names with either their friends or their girlfriends, wives, whatever, and they put locks on uh, bridges and uh, fences and stuff like that. Now when we go back, um, I'm gonna end up taking that trail back and I'll show you where that goes. Cause there's a bunch of different like trails that wind that you can take to get to the same place. But now we're on the other side of the upper gorge and then there's another. There's another lock right there. All right. So, we could go we could go that way or we could go this way. Um I like to take the more stupid way um uh, where I could get hurt more. So, that's what we're going that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, here we go. All right. Oh man, that water must have been coming down. I went down this way yesterday and it didn't look like that. Let's see if I can slip and fall again. Now I can now I can get uh now I can get muddy and not just wet.
these leaves are wet they're slippery the rocks are slippery <laughs> I think that's what I think that's what I get more more scared of the most is if you slip and fall and you hit your head on a rock or something. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. Look at that. And then look at this view. How cool is that? You got saddle bridge up top there and actually let's walk a little closer there's the covered bridge back in there i told you i took some pictures i do have a picture of this view so at the end i'm gonna try to do that um like i said in the past when i do these videos some of my videos might be a half hour some might be an hour um add another hour on top of that because i'm usually taking pictures or i'm just stopping and checking stuff out so what you see is just a, is, is some of what i'm doing when i'm hiking these trails that's awesome and this is one this is one of those areas like when uh like teenagers mostly they'll come down here and uh they'll like you know go swimming down in here whatnot it's usually not this deep it's still you'll have like deeper pools here and there but it's not flowing like this oh that's a cool uh man check out them roots wow look at that <laughs> oh man that's cool check that out oh wow well i was gonna go over there like I said yesterday, I was here and I, I was able to get over there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we can see what we can do. See how far we can get. Maybe. I'm already wet, so what the what the heck, right? <laughs> oh man all right i kind of <laughs> i kind of made it oh, man Woo. all right well we did it some more names on there See if we can get over a little further. Wow. Yeah, I don't want to go into this water. I tell you what, it got a lot colder when I first started walking. Oh, look at that. How freaking cool. Wow. Woo. How cool is that? There's Saddle Bridge. We're at the bottom of it. Under, uh, not at the bottom, underneath it. That's cool. Wow. I, that, that's awesome. That is cool. Man. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. see if we can get back over there again I just I think that view man is that awesome all right you know here we go I always like to see engravings on rocks HJ 
Look at that. So, I guess if anybody's looking for an HJ, this is the spot. <laughs> oh, boy. I got to get over... Put my hoodie back on because I think I gotta crawl back under here and as you can see there's all kind of stuff on here so let's go oh, no. No, man. <sighs> you gotta admit though this is kind of cool under here right All right, we did it. Yeah, I walked right out there yesterday. So, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the water probably got about another foot, foot and a half deep from where I was yesterday. All right, so I told you both sides of this trail like we're on the way i guess if you want to put a name to this trail i mean it's it's all the upper gorge area i would say this would be the west upper gorge and that would have been the east upper gorge trail and again it's it's not a loop um you could make it one if you wanted to if you wanted to spend a, a all day hike uh you could definitely do that um but I don't think it's that far and I don't think it's that bad to go down, backtrack, and then go this way again. Um, now we're not going to come back this way. I'm not going to come back on this trail. Um, we're gonna, there's a trail up that way. Actually, there's a guy walking up there. That's the way we're going to go. And that's the way we'll come back to uh, where I started. Here's another another cave little kind of cavey little situation that's cool it's just hanging there on some part of the web yeah i will tell you as cool as these are like you, you know i mean it's it, it this is awesome right it's it, it coming into these places are always awesome but in the summertime in the springtime when you come in here watch what you're walking into because there are just spiders galore that hang out and i mean i like spiders i do i think spiders are cool um but there are some scary looking ones there are some crazy scary looking spiders uh that hang out in in, in those uh areas now see i went down i went down the hard way um you could have came down those steps and then backtracked uh, to where I just was. But uh, I like to, you know, I like to see if I can fall or not. <laughs> Man, I put my hoodie on, I get hot, I take it off, I get cold. Just seems peaceful too until you get down there and you can hear that roaring that water yeah i'm just amazed how much green is still still out and like i said you think it's you think it's nice now like you think it's pretty you think oh wow that that's, looks really amazing come out in the summertime where you can just have a t-shirt on you know throw on your backpack just have some water you can spend a, all day hiking awesome yeah look at that you're just walking and you know within the browns the different brown tones and stuff and the oranges and the tans you get that green just pops out 
so amazing. You know, see, I would go down there and step, but I know that I would probably fall because that rock looks really, really slippery. Wow. There might, I, it might have been up further. I actually did go out yesterday on some rocks because me and my daughter were talking, hey, this would be a cool place to just put a tent out on the rock. The water would be flowing, but uh, yeah, this water is high today. It's super high. Yeah, not a bad trail. It's not, it's not crazy bad either. Uh, I mean, it's not flat. It's not flat, flat. Uh, you know, there's you get into some rocky situations and there's some high steps here and there, but I think the majority of people uh, can, can do it. Here's some more fungi. Look at that, you can see the little snowflakes on there too. Let me see. I don't want to get the closer I get, it gets weird. Okay, there's some snow, you can see the snowflakes on there. Oh, check that, wow. Look at that side. Man, look at that. Oh, wow, check that out. That's cool. That's what I'm talking about. Got some black ones here. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, they're just, it's everywhere. Wow. Look how big that tree is. <laughs> Look at the root, this is the roots. These are the roots. Look, that's the roots of this tree. How crazy, huh? Wow. Yeah, I can see the dam from in here is hidden back in there. So we're not that far. Not that bad of a hike. Like I said, this would be a perfect, uh, this would be a perfect trail. Maybe not both sides at one time, but this would be a perfect trail to uh, go on your lunch break. I keep, must be the water in the, uh, the leaves and stuff. I kept hearing some banging. Gotta be the leaves. Actually, I wanna say I was in here yesterday. I think I was out on, the, on that rock right there. Cool. I think this was the spot. Yeah, yeah, right here. I was out there yesterday. This was all, th this, this area, like right out in here, that whole area was dry and I was out on it. Wow, it must have rained pretty good. I like that too, the pine with the with the uh, snow. That looks nice. Yeah, I like that look too. Pine with snow always looks, I don't know, it just looks festive, calming, amazing. Now I'm hoping, hoping the lens don't get screwed up because it's getting wet here and there. You can check out the knots up on that tree. Yeah, yeah, see the dam. Newport dam back in there. It's cool because you can you can start hearing it from like I just heard it just right around that bend up there, but you can you can hear that water roaring. 
Now, if there was drums playing in the background, it kind of would remind you of the Lost River ride from Idora Park. Yeah. This side's not as muddy as the other side. Man, I'm, I'm just, I'm, man, I'm really digging the green. Really digging the green. Not a lot of wildlife I'm catching today. And when I get up, I'm gonna take you to the top of the dam. Uh, when I get up to the top of the dam, I, dam, I'll tell you a little story about what I seen yesterday. Now, I don't know what side of the dam I like better. I don't know if I like this side or I like the other side. Cause the other side has like that cascading fall area. This side you can climb up, kind of same side and get up on top and look over. But uh, both views are pretty darn cool looking. Wait for some people to pass. Go ahead. I'm waiting to see some 1989 carvings. I haven't seen any of those yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah, snow's coming down. Not hard, but the flurries, it's flurries. Now, I don't know if anybody else likes hiking in the rain. I love rain hiking, and yesterday was perfect for it. It was, it was rainy, and it was warm, and, and it wasn't like a pouring rain. It was just enough to, you know, just, it was that pleasant rain, you know, and it made, cause it just made everything, the, the waterfalls start popping out and everything. So, if you ever get a chance, uh, and it's nice out and it's warm. Warm is the key. Do some, uh, do some rain hiking. So what do you think? What side, what side do you think you like better? I, I kind of like this side a little better because I love the way that looks. Today is when I should have brought my camera. I didn't bring it. It's sitting in my living room but I would have liked to get a long exposure shot of that right now. Man, okay, well, it is what it is. There'll be another time. Ah, uh, well, yeah, that would have been a cool shot. Man, I might have to come back. I might have to come back later on today. I think I might because I'm gonna show you an area where you can park and be right here okay so uh and if i can if i can i'm gonna go uh see if i can get a picture of the uh rock um for alice baldwin and i, I, I post that one as well at the end look at that man is that cool or what all right well, I was checking that out. Looks like handmade marks, doesn't it? Somebody must have carved these steps for us to walk up. Man, I got I got to keep my hoodie on. Man. Ooh, look at this. Oh yeah, water goes down there. And if I'm right, let's see. Comes out down there. Is 
cool as heck. Wow. Some, uh, some couple of holes we could go climb in. <laughs> Tell me that ain't awesome. For being a man-made dam, that's pretty darn awesome. And there is Lake Newport. Now yesterday, I was up here and I was with my daughter and I look out there and I see something poking up. There was, there was some river otters out here. There was two of them. I tried calling them over, but they, they were looking, but they didn't come over here. Uh, I was hoping, I was hoping to catch them today. That's why I was looking out. They were like right here yesterday, and they were. Th then they ended up out that way. Um, I don't see them. Maybe we'll get to see them at an otter time. Um, yes, I said that. Yes, I went there. Uh, but maybe we will, like now. <laughs> what are those? That is awesome. That's that is scary. Cool. I told you yesterday we were out here and that was the otters that we seen yesterday that my daughter took with her phone. Um, I didn't have anything on me. I didn't have my GoPro. I didn't have my phone, but she did and she thought it was awesome and that's awesome that she took the picture. So. I was able to include it in this video so yeah they were they were just out here just popping their heads up for probably about like 10-15 minutes it was really cool and I didn't think there were river otters out here but I guess there's a family of them that live out here I guess that's how they would control the the dam Man, look at that. Wow. I love the cascading falls over there. Hey, somebody was fishing. There's a bobber. <laughs> and then uh, there's the boathouse, I believe, over there. There's a boathouse over there. There, there was a, uh, there was a pretty awesome um, dock that went out uh, that they actually tore down and remodeled. It sucks because the old one was pretty darn cool, but I, I, it was kind of rickety, so I, I can see why they wanted to uh, redo it. But yeah, I, it looks foggy out now. Not like it did yesterday, but. Man, I'm still, I was still hoping those otters would be popping up somewhere. It was awesome. Well, at least I got to show you. At least I got to show you. All right, so we're going to go up this way. We came from down there, but uh, we're going to walk up this way. And I'm just going to, I'm going to roll the camera until I get to, to uh, Saddle Bridge. And that's where I'll end the video. Because, uh just so I can show you this trail. There's nothing, nothing crazy about this one. We're just at the upper level. But you can, you can park right there. That's a, that's a little parking lot, probably enough for maybe, I don't know, six, seven cars up there. You can park right there and you can come check out 
the Newport Lake and Newport Dam. And then if you wanted to, if you wanted to walk um, down to the bridge, you could do that and walk straight back up there. So there's, you know, there's three, four or five different options that you can do for this trail. web right there. How cool is that view though? I'm actually <laughs> I'm actually gonna be glad to, to uh, end the video. It's it's colder than I thought it was gonna be today. Look at the snowflakes. Yeah, see, the snow's starting to pile up in between the branches and stuff. Wow. A lot of carvings on these trees, huh? Which I... I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't know how I feel about that because I love... Tr I'm a tree... I'm a tree hugger. I'm a tree hugger. Um... So I don't like to see them damaged, but uh, you know, you look at some of the trees uh, that have been here for a long, long, long time. They're still doing really good. They're still healthy. Um, so I don't know. Me personally, I don't. I don't want to carve anything in any of the trees. I rather, I rather sit down by the tree and sit at the trunk and get some energy from it and leave them an offering. Maybe a pine cone, maybe a coin, maybe something like that. That's, but that's me. Yeah, you can see the, you can see the view from in there. Boy, that's nice. Yeah, see, that's the trail we were on down there. So we walked to the, we walked to the dam. Oh, this does. Okay. So we walked to the dam and then we just went up the steps and continued this way. Now see if you did park over there by the dam, you could walk this trail, go to the bridge and then walk the lower trail. And, and now that would be a loop. That would be a loop on this side if you parked over there. Or here. Yeah, whatever. Oh uh, look at that. What look how this is. It's, it's peeled away like this is embosed. Wow. Huh. Okay. And I will tell you another thing that you could do if you wanted to. That's the road right there. So you could actually go onto the road, walk, keep walking and walking, and you'll, you'll come to the Canfield Road Bridge and you can walk across the bridge, get a glimpse of the old mill, come back down and, you know, uh, end up where we started. So yeah, lots of different, lots of different things you could do on this trail uh, or in this area, I should say in the area. So pick your poison. That's, that is awesome. Oh, that's what it, I was hearing the noise. It's it's the squirrel, it's the squirrel guy up there. He's chewing on his uh, he's chewing on his nuts. <laughs> I don't know, nobody nobody's seen that. I was looking up at the squirrel and, <laughs> and tripped over, tripped over uh. A, a root. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. All right. And and you know what sucks? Everything everything hurts more or whatever when it's cold out. Well, I thought I thought that said the misfits. Hold on, there's a 
80 is that 86 looks like 86 82 okay i'll stick with 89 1989 was a cool year actually all the 80s 1980s were awesome Yeah, there we there we are talking about years again. I didn't see Doc or Marty anywhere. So ah well. And here's that Y. Here's the Y that split off, and that's the way we went when we walked down. So we'll continue back. So actually, I'm gonna shut this off for a little bit. Put my hands in my pocket. My hands are, I can hardly feel them. And uh, I'll meet you back at Saddle Bridge, all right? Okay, I'm not at Saddle Bridge yet, but I'm gonna take this trail. Uh, I'm gonna go up this way, because that's the way we just came from. And that's that's the way we came from, from Saddle Bridge. But I'm going back. I seen this little foot trail that goes up the side of the cliff here. So I figured, let me turn this back on just to show you this. Yeah, just be careful not to slip. These leaves are slick. Oh, check out the uh, check out the snow. Snow's putting a little frosting on the trees. That's cool. That's really cool. Hey, see? These are the things why I like turning the uh, camera back on because how cool is that? We're going to get to walk right between those, those two trees. You can tell it's cold. My <laughs> I can't talk right. My hands are freezing. Check this out. How cool is that? How cool is that? That's awesome. Wow, right? Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, how cool does that look with the with the with the snow frost on the tree? That's a nice tree there too. Look at that one. Looks like the the other pines hugging that one. Branches wrapping around. Yeah, see, we could have we could have did that and and walked up those steps, but uh, I chose to take the uh, foot trail with all the leaves. Here we are. Saddle Bridge. It's a nice view. All right, well, let's keep walking. We're almost we're almost at the ending point. I don't know if I told everybody that I was going to stop at the Saddle Bridge or not and end my video, but I'm I'm going to end the video at at the uh, covered bridge where I started. But uh Yeah, there's a Saddle Bridge again from up top. Now tell me if if the fog was rolling in here and that was just full of fog, tell me that wouldn't look like uh, that Jurassic Park bridge. <laughs> look, you can even see more of the frosting on the pine. Wow. And there's another, there's another path that you can go up to the road and uh, get to the mill area. like these webs look at that the web is it's a snow catcher you know how they have dream catchers it's a snow catcher there's 
Creek way down there still. Man, look at all these. Wow. A lot of carvings on these trees. Jeez. That's crazy. See, you start, you look at that and then you start feeling really bad because that's just, I don't know. Way too many, but that's that's what people do, I guess. Like I said, I'd rather take the tree's energy and leave an offering. Let's check this uh, check this out in here. Check that out. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. How you doing? Good, you? Good, good, thank you. Look, now look at this tree. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Just the way it <laughs> it's twisted and goes around. Just a lot, a lot of unique trees. Wow. All right. Yeah, see, you could have been on the road. Like if you would have took that one path that, that was back that way. You could keep this road... And if you steer to the right, don't go to the left. Keep right on the road, and that would that would take you to the Canfield Road Bridge. Now, there's the covered bridge. I see it peeping through. Look at that. There it is. See birds all flying around in there. What was that? Is that a squirrel down in there? I've seen something jump. Must have been a squirrel. Whew. Now this path that we followed is going to bring us... Oh look, we're under like a canopy. That's cool. It is going to take us to the covered bridge. There's the mill. There's the Canfield Road Bridge. Covered bridge right there. Check out the... Yeah, everybody, everything's connecting like the snow. That's cool. There's the access road that comes down. Now you can't drive down there with your car. That's just for like personnel that, that work at the park. There's the, there's the old covered bridge. The new old covered bridge. Like I said, this wasn't the original and it was more for like tourism is why this one was built. And I'm sure, you know, it, obviously it's access to here, but um, this is what a bridge would have looked like from that time period. There it is. I tell you what. I tell you what else would be cool. I don't know if you can or not. It'd be something to ask the park. But if you're having, uh, if you're having like a, um, I don't know, not not like a party party, but if you were having like a wedding, I would think a wedding would be cool. Or um, I, I don't know. I would say wedding would probably be the best uh, for this idea. But get a bunch of picnic tables, line them up down the middle of the covered bridge, and you'd be have that's where you'd be eating and everything on a covered bridge. I think that'd be pretty cool. You know, before I cross that bridge, though, let's go check this view out from over here. Now I'm not going to go no further than right in here but i just kind of wanted to see this area 
Yeah, see? And this is all the upper gorge area. Wow, that's awesome. Little, little access point right here. Yeah, how cool, how cool would it be? Now, obviously not now, but how cool would it be to have this lined with picnic tables and you have those lights going all down the top. Heck, you could probably have like, I, well, I was gonna say candles, but you know, just have the lights, have the picnic tables, have it decorated with your flowers and stuff like that. That'd be pretty sweet, right? Heck yeah. And there's the, yeah, there's a better view from that uh, over the mill area. And we did that, we did those uh, trails over there. The West Gorge Trail and the East Gorge Trail. And then now we finally did the Upper Gorge Trail. So, now we, uh, we seen it all. Something, uh, something pounded. Maybe somebody's underneath here. I don't know. Um, yeah, there was a big pound under the bridge. I don't know. It's getting cold. Sometimes wood starts popping when it gets cold. Um, I don't know. But listen, um, I want to thank everybody for watching, especially if you're new to the channel and you watch the video uh, that, that's awesome i hope to see you return and watch uh more of the ones i've done and, and watch some of the past ones um but i think i think this is where i'm going to end the video because this is where i started the video and i think on my way home i may or may not stop and have a margarita i don't know you know maybe to ring in the maybe the ring in the new year feliz out on the way though um but yeah again i want to thank everybody for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button um no matter what channel that you watch no matter what person that you watch that you like hit the subscribe button hit the like button it helps that channel tremendously um hit the bell icon too that way you know when i make a new video you'll you'll know about it man that view is awesome right that view is awesome but I think I'm going to get out of here because it is cold. And again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Everybody enjoy the new year, whatever year you're in. Uh, until I see you on the next adventure, wherever that's going to take us. I, I have a couple ideas. I do have a couple ideas. Um, but until I see you then, Feder Melange.